What is the relation of RH to moisture vapor emission rates? So the simple answer to it is there is no relationship between the moisture vapor emissions and relative humidity. I put it out very simply to people and I talk about the fact that with calcium chloride when you're looking at moisture vapor emissions you're only looking at best case scenario the top three quarters of an inch of that slab and you're finding out or you're determining what's going on right now as opposed to with relative humidity you're going down into the slab and you're actually getting a number that allows you to understand what is going to happen on the surface once you spend all the time effort and money to install a floor so from a flooring contractor's perspective, there's two questions that I ask. Are you really worried about what's going on right now? Or are you worried about what's going to happen once you spend all the time, effort, and money to put the floor down? Most of them will come back to me and they'll say relative humidity is what they really want to know because they need to find out what the, the potential for them to have an issue down the road.